Hi guys, it's me, the world of Mini Me here. Um, I just wanted this video. I am now uploading a video of my chubby bunny challenge. Um, if you don't know what that is, it's where you take a marshmallow and you stuff it in your mouth. And with each marshmallow you put in your mouth, you have to say chubby bunny. So that's uploading, and it was really funny because one of the marshmallows fell out of my mouth and on the floor. So I had to pick it up, and after it fell on the floor, I squealed. So it was pretty funny. But, um, so, um, um, so yeah, that's uploading. Um, I'm going to be, this video is just about my paranormal experiences. And, um, yes, I do have a very deep connection with spirits. Um, I can't say that I am one because I'm not, so, <laughs> But I do have a very, very strong, strong connection with spirits. I strongly believe in spirits, and um, I've actually believed in spirits ever since I was a little girl. And actually, when I would get when it was it would happen when I would when I was little when I would get dressed and I'd put a shirt on, I'd have to shove the shirt on like right over my head really, really quickly because I thought someone was going to try to scare me while I was getting dressed. So that's what scared me the most. But I'm not quite scared of spirits anymore. I'm just scared of like things that startle you, things go bump in the night. Um, last night I experienced such a very strange experience. Um, you can leave in the comments what you think, um, was going on, but I honestly, I don't know what happened. But what, here's the whole night what happened for me. Um, I went upstairs to bed, I went to read, I was tweeting on Twitter, I was playing my farm game, and then I started reading a book, a very nice, nice calming book, nothing about spirits or anything. Just a nice calming book, nothing to creep me out. Um, my mom left, and I was already asleep. Uh, I believe I woke up at 3.33, and my heart was pounding, pounding. And I was laying on my stomach, um, which is the way I always sleep, and... Um, I just wanted to let you all know that everyone in this world has a spiritual guardian. They just don't know. They just don't know it. Okay? So I have a spiritual guardian. I know who my spiritual guardian is. Um, I'm really not supposed to be talking about this because it's, you know. But I'm just telling you all, everyone out there, you do have a spiritual guardian. You just don't know what their name is. You don't know who they are. You don't know unless you do know who they are and what their name is, then you know. But, so, there is a spirit who lives in my house, and I'm not telling you anything about him, because, you know, it's none of anyone else's business unless, you know, I really, unless you guys really want me to tell you, and unless I want to tell you guys. But his name is Bramble, and he's my friend, he's really nice, he's funny, he's kind, and when I was sleeping, I guess, in my dream, sorry, it's really, okay, in my dream, I was sitting in my bed, facing my backboard for, my headboard for some weird reason, and there was a man behind me in a trench coat, a black trench coat, wearing a black hat like Neo, the singer Neo wears, this black hat, and he was wearing dark glasses. And it was just the most terrifying thing I've ever, I can't even, I, it's so terrifying. Um, I woke up from that dream because I had, a, like, in my dream, he was about to stab me in the back, like, literally. So, I woke up before he could. And <laughs> it was just so scary. Um... I woke up at 3.33, my heart was pounding like crazy because I was scared to check the phone time because creepy things do happen at 3.33 because the number 3 is a demonic number, mostly because 6 is a demonic number. The, the number 6 is a demonic number, but as with the letter, the number 3, and I live in unit number 3, okay, and there's this really creepy man, and I guess he's like a cannibal or something, and he... When you walk, when he walks past you, he'll look at you like this. 
And I guess we had, this is this story that I'm about to tell you right now. It's from a while during the summer. He did this stuff. Okay, well, first thing, first thing that I knew he was kind of like a cannibal kind of thing, is he looked at my mom like this. So, like, what the crap? What's, what's this guy's problem, right? I looked at him, and he was going, and he actually, he kind of looks a little bit like PewDiePie, but he doesn't. He looks like PewDiePie, but it's not PewDiePie, because PewDiePie doesn't live in Canada, I don't think. Pretty positive. But he looked like PewDiePie a little bit. So I was like, is that PewDiePie? No, gosh, no, that can't be him, right? So, turns out, obviously, it wasn't him. So, um, again, and like I think it was a few weeks later, me and my sister and her boyfriend and my niece, Leah, we were all going to the beach. Okay, and my sister was talking to my, no, my sister was in my house, and I was out there, out in the parking lot, in the Jeep with my sister's boyfriend and my niece, and he walked by, and he stared at my niece, Leah, and he went, <laughs> you could hear him breathing out of his nose, going, <laughs> and no, it was not um, Kevin from the Hodge Twins, <laughs> but it was pretty creepy, Um, and he was looking at my sister's boyfriend like this. And it was really creepy. And then when my sister came out, he went. It was so scary. And um, another time he was walking on the parking lot shirtless. You know, I think he was bird watching. I don't know. He was looking through the bushes for some reason. I don't know. This man is clearly, very clearly um, just, you know, very confused, um, as Cam Hunter would say. Um, but, um, I guess, you know, he was, I guess one time we had a wine bottle in our backyard and I find this pretty creepy. Um, he came in our backyard, stole our wine bottle, took a piss in the wine bottle and put it near our car in our parking lot. Dude, what the crap is your issue? This guy was pretty creepy. But anyways, back to my dream. Um, I woke up at 3.33, and I came downstairs because I was thirsty, you know, I midnight snack, you know, 3.33 a.m., I gotta have a snack, early breakfast, but anyways, I came downstairs to get a little snack and a drink of water, and I went in the downstairs bathroom, and there was pounding on this wall, it was, it's not our neighbor's wall, it's our wall, so it's either someone is in the bathroom pounding on the wall, or someone, a uh, spirit is out there pounding on the wall, but whatever, right? So someone was pounding on the wall by the door, just pounding on this, pounding on this wall, man, pounding, right? And I go in the bathroom because I thought someone was in there. So I grabbed a knife and I went in the bathroom like this. No one was there. And our picture in the bathroom fell on the floor and I ran up in my room and started bawling my eyes out. Um, I woke up again at four. Um, cause I went to, I went upstairs and I fell asleep at 4.55 and this dream came back to me now with the guy I was about to stab me and he went to stab me. He was this close away from my back and I woke up again and I heard footsteps. Now these were like man heels, like you know those cowboy heels? They, when they go, those. Click, click, click on the floor and I was freaking terrified, man. I was not, I didn't scream though because that would set the person off and make them come upstairs to so shoot me in the face something and um i heard the, the basement door open and slam shut and i was like what the living crap <gasps> and i was freaking terrified one second yeah i was freaking terrified crying my eyes out you know what the heck is going on i don't know right now because this guy is trying to murder me i think so my mom gets home at um 9 30 it's nine i think it's 10 or 9 45 or something right now i know i think it's 10 but she gets home at 9.30, I tell her, and she's like, this is pretty weird. And I guess I have my teddy bear, ah! sorry, I had like this cut right here, I think, it hurts. But, okay, so I have my teddy bear down in the basement, washing up. Yes, I still sleep with a teddy bear, by the way, his name is Cordy Bear. I got him when I was just a little, I think, when I was one year old. We went into a um, dollar store, and he wasn't for sale, but he was on the floor, and I picked him up, and I was about to walk off with him, and the man said, that's not for sale, that, that was did you buy that? And my mom said, please, sir. And she paid him anyways, and he gave it to us. So this bear means a lot to me, like I've had him for life. And you know what? The memories of this teddy bear 
and my mom went downstairs to get everything that was in the washing machine that was in the dryer, and I guess my teddy bear was supposed to be in there, and he's gone. So clearly this person stole my teddy bear. Like, if I don't find my teddy bear down there, this person came to steal my teddy bear. So that's my paranormal experience, okay? So I will talk to you guys later. Uh, today is Tuesday, so I will be doing a makeup tutorial for Tutorial Tuesday. So leave your comments. Please make a vid, vid response. Subby me. And I'll talk to you guys later. Tweet me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram. Spanish Girl 8 for Instagram. Um, Jessica 99 for Twitter. And I will catch you all later. See you later, bye, people. Bye.